What are you doing? I'm looking for that DS game you borrowed. Have you seen it? Sean, I always know when you're lying. I need money, Terry. I can't do it. If you needed money, you didn't have to steal it. I would have lent it to you. But what can't you do? The exams. I've missed too much. Oh, Sean, it's not your fault. You were sick and... No, I must pass. Wait, what are you doing? I'm going to see David Cron. He can help me. Crony, the cheat sheet dealer. You're going to sell your soul to the devil just to pass. You don't understand, Terry. I must pass. I've already failed one subject and my GPA can't handle another. Crony is a villain. He doesn't deal with money. He deals with people's lives. You'd be an idiot to get into this. You don't understand. Just get out of my face. I hate you. I was only trying to help. I didn't ask for your help. I'm so excited for my best. Honestly, it's gonna be such a good night. Mm. Maybe we should get Sean and Gemma their own seats. <laughs> Maybe he'll finally get the confidence to <laughs> confess his feelings. Look! It's everywhere. Unsex me here. I want you to look this way. this way. Yeah, right into the middle for this. Okay. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? Gosh. Do you ever enter like a normal person? What's ironic, by the way? That a guy could be so good at playing a female character. Take my milk for gal, you murdering ministers. He's a fantastic actor. Plus, he makes working with the Queen and her witch <laughs> bearable. Well, I wouldn't be so surprised. Terry's naturally theatrical. Why would I be surprised? But he's a chick magnet with those acting skills. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out when we go out. Go out? Uh-huh. Tell me how that goes. I will. Come on! Unsex me here. So from what I hear, Macy is now a hair's breadth away from snapping and going Norman Bates on us. Nice work. Yes, yeah, well, I was loath to even give her that. The witch Hecate is no small bit part, but Casey was insistent. Are you guys here for entry? No, we just really like this footpath. What are you think? David? We're here to see the true leader. <clears throat> well, the true leader's not seeing anyone right now. Excuse me? I have done everything asked of me. I am here to prepare for my succession. Well, there are other candidates being screened at. What? What other candidates? You listen here, you jumped up intern. I am the head of the rebellion. Everybody answers to me. Oh, good, good, good. It's best you understand. 
change her position. I'm still uncertain. Are the candidates to succession? Who the hell does that jumped up, glorified intern think he is? My position is as secure as it can get. The true leader owes everything to me. I am Griffin. I am the head of the rebellion. And I am in control. Griffin, seriously, calm down. Look, you've recruited about half the university. And most of those now owe you everything short of their firstborn child. Our beloved true leader will recognize that fact. Fine. Fine. Leave me, David. I need time to think. Griffin, seriously, get some perspective. It's just a position. Go, David. I doubt you have any idea about what I'm going through. Try me. Maybe I'll surprise you. Look, it's politics. One person does all the dirty work, and somebody else gets all the credit. Isn't it the person who does all the dirty work that has the power in the end anyway? You have a very good point there. Of course I do. Now turn that frown upside down and just trust in the people who believe in you. And then come help me with this play. Do I have to? Yep. This Tommy Mace is not going to be there. Remind me again, why are we outside? What? It's pretty out here. <sighs> and someone's been terrorizing you and this is the first that we hear about it. Yeah, guys, why has no one reported it yet? I'm going to tell someone. Why would someone want to terrorize you, Red? Aren't most of these notes about your research assignment anyway? Huh. I didn't realize that. The hunt your wolf in your dreams? How's your research project going? But aren't the only people who know about the research assignment us? And my mentor. Well, don't discount anyone. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Gemma. What? What? Me? Well, you're always so cheerful and happy. And I wouldn't be surprised if you sent red creepy stalker messages to inspire her. If anyone, it'd probably be you. Excuse me? You come the least, and when you do, you begrudge it. You're just busy thinking about the next boy you can hop onto. Oh. <laughs> You'd be happy if this wolf destroyed Neverland. Well, it's always the quiet ones you've got to worry about. Isn't that right, Red? You mean like Sean? <gasps> Red, why would you say that? Well, Red's right, Gemma. Sean only joined because we threatened to report him. He'd be free if we were all scared off by this wolf. It's not me. I like Neverland. What about Red? Nobody even knows her real name. Guys, we should stop fighting. This whole wolf thing is going to just tear us apart. Red's right. We need to stop. I think this whole traitor thing that the wolf's playing is just, it's just trying to get at us. Honestly, we're stronger than that. We are. Yes. So, yeah. Terry, nervous about tomorrow at all? Big crowd, pretty scary. Nope. Not nervous at all. You have been working so hard. The crowd is just gonna, they're gonna love you. And I believe in you too. <laughs> and I was wondering, maybe, would you like to come shopping with me? Oh my God, I love shopping. Are you looking for anything particular? Because I get special members discounts. <laughs> I 
Actually, I remembered I've got a thing, so I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Bye, Casey. Look, Terry, I'm sorry if I've been hard on you at all. Let me buy you a drink. What do you have? Gin. Don't worry about it, Casey. I get it. Let me get the next round. What do you have? Um, a double gin and a vodka, please. No worries. Double. You deserve it. I know. Yeah. Um. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. To you. To me. Come on, finish it. Just drink. Yeah, but all that hard work you've put in. You deserve it. Waiter, um, we'd like the same again, please. <coughs> Thank you. Again? Yeah, again. Okay. I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. Down the hatch. How do you do it so fast? Oh, I'm just a natural, you know. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Feeling loose, feeling ready for life. Yeah, yeah, nah. Loose, that. Loose? Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be. You know, I think he's had enough. No, yeah, just one more. He knows who I am. He will tomorrow night. You drink that, I'll settle the bill, and I'll see you later. Aww. One more for him though. Oh, well, I settled the bill, okay? Yeah. You're the best, Casey. Love you, Karen. Oh. myself a bit. <laughs> Why, Casey? So this is your costume, but this isn't what Lady Macbeth wears. Yeah, because you're not Lady Macbeth. Oh, you ruined your audition. Case, you said you'd fix it for me. Well, I couldn't. I felt on it. Where is it? Oh, uh, I actually look cute. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Listen, Jim. The other day. You really cheered me up. So it's the least I could do to listen to what's going on. 
Have you ever been really let down by someone you trusted? Someone you really cared about and they ruin everything with just a few little words? Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling all too well. Well, how do you cope? You see, a very clever girl once told me that all I have to do is believe in myself and to find new people to trust. Guys, um, my problem. Terry's missing. I was watching, I was a shit really cute boy by the way. What? Help! Do you know what time it is? Oh no. The play. Wait. You're hungover, you need water. Why did you get so drunk the day before your big night? It was that skunk, Casey. She tried to get me drunk. And I'm not stupid, I know she wanted to give the lead to Macy. Terry, I've been meaning to say this for a while. Why are you helping me anyway? Don't you hate me? I was wrong. But I was out of control, I couldn't stop, I was off the tracks. Now I'm in too deep. But I'm not going to let any of that affect the people I love anymore, so if anything, I hate myself for letting my weakness affect you. Is this, uh... Is this you admitting I was right? Don't make me say it. You're not weak, Sean. Misguided, perhaps. But you have more determination than most people. I am sorry. Sit in the front row, all the loudest, and buy a bouquet. I'll try my best. about comparing the live version of Macbeth with the written. Let's go to the U bar to get drunk and celebrate. Okay, <laughs> keep me away from the gym this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how to structure it though. I don't like gym. I don't like gym. Why did you bring gym? Why did you tell me? Guys, I've got the wolf's number. What should I do? Don't, don't do anything. He's doing it just to mess with you. Are you kidding me? This is our chance to scare him. Come on, ring the number and you can just give me the phone. Give me the phone. And I will let him have a piece of my mind. I'll call. Okay. Are you sure? Hello? I don't know if I should like do alternating paragraphs or just like do... Oh, sorry, one second. Hello? Hello? 